Welcome to Farm Radio. Today we have another quick television checkout. We have chores to do, but there's always time for a television video. Okay, this is a 1960 Motorola we picked up the other day. Uh, the previous owner said it worked, and uh, the cabinet was used to make into who knows what, but the cabinet did not come with it, just the chassis. But they were smart enough to offer the chassis to the general public. In the ad, I spotted the 21CBP4A, which, uh, if you search uh, my channel, uh, even for my own uh, insight, I was actually had one mailed to me, and I went on a trip to fetch one. So that's what caught my eye initially. Um, oh, this is nice. Nice. Um, I'll show you what I've discovered so far. That's what the set looks like. And I noticed another side of damage here. They had the, the tuna was just hanging, but Motorola has made these service slots available to hang the tuna on the side like it is. So I put it in service position. I've noticed from it being handled that the uh, this is broken and this wire is oh now we have two wires broken that's a good thing I found out where the one wire went before this wire broke off I'll explain all right we'll see if I can explain uh, where I've gotten this far the vertical hold pot I determined that's the vertical hold it has to be the vertical hold of course two meg pot here on the SAMs it just shows tone, tone, vertical hold, brightness, push on off volume and contrast. So I know it's either, it's not tone, as I can see with the capacitor there, that's most likely the tone at the bottom here. So it's not the tone, uh, it's either vertical hold or brightness. I measured the, uh, this pot here comes in like 500K and this one even though there was the phenolics broken I was able to read about 2 meg and that does correspond with two meg on the uh, vertical hold right here and the one meg resistor here and it corresponds with the pinout on here the black wire was broken I, I proved through without the schematic through magnification that that's where the black wire came from and I verified that because the black wire is ground and goes to pin 11 and you can see pin 11 there Pin 1 is yellow, pin 1 yellow goes to the center of the vertical hold pot. Pin 1 as referenced right there. So yellow, ground, the 1 meg. I've just jumped another 1 meg in series with it because this is like a 500k pot. I just want something. And I've replaced the fuse and I got rid of this mess on the speaker and just tacked the the wires on the speaker got rid of the splices that weren't covered and I got the high voltage probe and the uh, my killer kilowatt because it has no backing on it that's the way I got it anyway uh, I'll do the variac mode here I don't know what's on and off I suppose I could check with the meter real quick to see where we're at so this silly meter this was another this silly meter goes you have to switch the probes around uh, I'm on continuity here so okay let's see what we got here okay let's see make sure we're off here let's see if our switch is on this is awful hard to do one-handed so we can attach the probe Oh, these classic, uh, these are Simpson leads, I believe. Okay, so we'll just screw him on there. We'll clip him there. And we'll know whether our power switch is good and whether or not it's on or off. Right now it is off. Give it a click. And are we on? Yes, we are on. All right, so we are on. 
We'll watch our kill a kilowatt here, and uh, yeah, we'll do the variac. What the heck? Um, we're on. Let's go up to about 60. The kilowatt doesn't come alive until about 90. Let's just see if we get any tube glowage here. We're on. Oh, and uh, now let me throw the switch here. One more switch. The underneath of the chassis looks fine. Bring it up, watch that fuse. All right, we're about six, 65 volts here. I like this working outside, but in this climate where I'm from, it's either windy or snowing or raining or cloudy or hurricane or who knows what. It's just probably a handful of nice days throughout the whole year. And the rest of six, nine months is like agony if you're not a, a skier. I don't see anything happening here. Oh, I hear the little Motorola. This is their feature here. This holds the B plus off until the tubes light. I don't know if that clicked or not. It holds the B plus off the filaments, off the tubes, until the filaments warm up. All right, I'm going up to about 100 here. And our kilowatt is coming alive. 112 volts, watts. I have 103, 109 watts. Some tube glowage here, come on. Damn wind. I never have a nice day. It's always windy. My goodness. I do see tube glowage. Okay. Fuse is still good. Let's turn up the volume here. No crackle, crackle. About 100 volts there. I hear some strangeness. Oh. Okay. Fuse hasn't popped. 158 watts. I don't know how much this is supposed to be drawing. 158. Hmm. 158. Oh, 1.75 amps. 195 watts. Okay. I'm good with that. Funny, you can't see that 5U4 glowing at all. It's warm. Oh, let's see. Okay, we'll go up to full tilt here. 120. Just moving the tuner. Let's see if we got high voltage here. We do have high voltage, looks like about, if I press it, yeah, about 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, about 12, a little over 12,000 volts there. Oh, to be able to hear that 15,575 again. I'm not liking that too, but it doesn't even look like it's lighting up, which would be a terrible shame. This is loose. I don't like any of this. I did not test this CRT, and I do not see any picture bulb. Let's see what the front looks like. I have nothing. Sun is out now. The socket is loose on here. I don't see any filament. That filament is. Hold on. DC volts, no good. <laughs> we had it on DC. Okay, AC volts. We got five volts. So the CRT is is getting its power. That's pin one and twelve. Next, let's check the continuity of 1 in 12. Oh, where are you? 1 in 12. I 
I don't like this loose socket. Yeah, it's open. Oh, I hope it's just the pins. The one thing we wanted, we don't have. And this is, these are a pain in the neck to get those socket pins back. Oh my goodness, not again. I'll move that around and see if I can touch this, make contact. I'll get the CRT checker out, but I was able to push this and I did get a, a quick reading here. I don't want to keep doing this because this socket is loose. Push up against it. I wiggle a little bit. I did get a reading. Oh, sure. Now it's not. There you go. Well, see, now it's not going to do it. Come on. There. And I push really hard on. I can't confirm that. I'm going to have to confirm this with the CRT checker. Those wires look okay, but I'm going to hit them with the gun just to be safe. I'm trying to see and, and to move the socket, but you can hear in the sound, in the speaker, when I it arc, when I do make connection, I'm guessing. When I wiggle the socket, I hear static. <sighs> I would love to just see a little orange glow there for a second. I'd be happy. All right, I can't spend too much time on this. The airplane's coming too. Oh, that's a that's a shame. They necked it, sort of. Oh, let's see. Okay, the B and K supports the, uh, the theory. This this is dead. This is dead. I can see if the meter dips down. If I move the socket around. Yeah, nothing. I hate taking these sockets off. And there's our result. Two broken. Three broken. The focus and the two heater pins. Let's scratch and try to attach. Scratch and attach. Let's see if we get continuity there. I dig in with that glass and push, I can get a reading, but this is ridiculous. It's broken off right inside. You can see the, let me get some folks. There and there, those two pins right there are the filament, and I can, this one's broken off way in there. I would have to dremel, this is ridiculous though, to try to not break that envelope, to try to get in there, but I do get a reading. Trying to do this two-handed, of course, when I do get it, I'm not on camera. But it gets two two ohms. You'll just have to take my word for it there. Oh, come on. Well, anyway. 
That's it for this thing for now. I'm not going to play with this any longer. So there you have it. The chassis running, has high voltage. The tube we wanted is broken. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.